Episode 4 of Behind the Scenes of Remote Learning in District 58 features Highland second grade teacher Julie Walters, who's created a comprehensive video look at the many aspects of her remote learning experience. Number one, tap on the two links below or go to BrainPop Junior through the Clever app to watch two videos that will review what you learned in first grade about telling time. Parts of a clock, time to the hour. Number two, tap add response and go through all of the pages of the activity. On a few of the pages, you will only need to listen to the lesson. Make sure you pay attention so that you can be successful on the pages that you need to complete. Number three, when you are done, get on your feet and dance with our favorite math friend, Jack Hartman. You know you love him. Today I'm going to use the GeoBoard app to show you how two identical rectangles or squares can have equal parts that are different shapes. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to make a square here and I'm going to make the same exact square over here. They're identical, right? The squares are the same. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to partition the first square this way. You see I have into halves, I have two equal parts and each part is a triangle shape. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. But this time I'm going to partition this Square into halves into two equal parts this way. Today you will be reading Panda's Earthquake Escape. This is a fictional story based on true events. In 2008, a 7.9 earthquake rocked northern China and destroyed the Wolong Panda Reserve. A panda reserve is a place to keep pandas safe and fed. During that earthquake, a giant panda escaped from the reserve. This is a story about that event. In this story, we have fictional characters named Li Ling and Ten Fai. They experience an earthquake and because it destroyed part of their reserve, they escaped. You are going to read to find out what happens to these two giant pandas and if they get back to safety.
Roshan, I can tell you really learned a lot in this science unit about how the land can change from wind and water problems, how quickly the land can change, and how sometimes it changes slowly. I also like your solution for the problem on the last page of this activity about how to keep that sand from washing away into the ocean every time the tide comes in. So the groin, I agree, would be the best solution because it doesn't cost that much. And I think another reason that we could have added is that it's easy to take care of and it really would pre prevent that sand from being moved off the beach into the water. Great thinking. Keep up the good work. You got the last question correct on the last page when you went back and fixed it, so thank you. And I just wanna go over these two because they were pretty tricky. So number four says, how much nearer? And what they mean is, in problem three, when it said who lives nearer to the school, Sam or Peter, they wanna know how much nearer, because you were right that Sam lives closer. So when we look at the map at the top, if we look at Sam's house, the, green, the purple one, and then Peter's house, the green one, um, and then we look at the school, we wanna know how much closer is Sam's house to the school than Peter's house. Well, Sam has to go 320 meters and another 450 meters, but Peter has to go those two distances plus another 170 meters. So that means that Sam's house is 170 meters closer to the school than Peter's house because Peter's house is 170 meters from Sam's house. I hope that makes sense. So that means that this answer would be 170 meters. Okay, so let's look at number six. this because I love because I want to be a basketball player when I grow up and it's the same reason for the basketball court. I have the Fortnite lobby on my shirt because I love playing Fortnite and I'm wearing shorts because I love shorts and this star in Israel is six explained which is why I have the six pointed tattoo on my stick figure.